The war started in South Georgia and ended in the Falkland Islands, which are located approximately 250 miles off the coast of South America and just off the coast of Argentina, which is why they decided to invade the Falklands. The war was between the United Kingdom and Argentina, and they were fighting for the territory of the Falkland Islands, South Georgia, and the South Sandwich Islands. On the 14th of June, the Falklands War ended after Argentina surrendered after having their boat sunk by British troops. One of the reasons, perhaps, why the war started was because at that time, when war broke out, Argentina was having some economical problems and was run by a dictatorship. And so by gaining more land, Argentina thought that they would earn more money and therefore the economical and poverty problems would be solved. Another reason, and possibly the main reason, the Falklands War started was because of Argentina's invasion of British territory, the Falkland Islands, St Georgia, although most of the men were removed by British protest, and the South Sandwich Islands. The British simply states that the war started because of the illegal occupation of the Falklands by the Argentine military and the refusal of the Argentine government to remove their men sent there. On 2nd of April, Argentina invaded the British territory of the Falklands and when the British government asked them to leave, the Argentine government said no. So then the British troops went in and the Falklands War started. Another reason perhaps why the war started and why Argentina invaded the Falklands was because they wanted to spread nationalism and they didn't want their country to find out about their crumbling economy. As if they did, this would cause all kinds of problems for the government, such as riots and breakdowns. Another reason that the Falklands War started was because of the large amount of people in Britain who were electing for the British government. So Margaret Thatcher and her election team decided to make war against Argentina so that everyone would be in support of their country and the British government would be popular within Britain. So what type of war was the Falklands War? Well, it was a just war because the war started because of a just cause, which was the invasion of the Falkland Islands by Argentina. Britain sent messages to the Argentinian government, but they did nothing, and they let their men stay on the islands, which basically means that Britain tried every other way to remove Argentina from the Falklands without fighting. One country would eventually win, because they were fighting over land, and Britain and Argentina both thought that that land should be theirs. Economical nationalism and popularity were the main types of causes in this war, because Argentina was in an economical crisis, and by gaining more land, they were gaining more money. Nationalism was what drove Argentina to raise the flag on the Falkland Islands and what drove Britain to send in troops to make sure that they weren't losing their land. The British government basically wanted this war to happen so that they would have more people supporting them and wouldn't have to deal with so many opponents. So, what were the consequences of the Falklands War? Well, Margaret Thatcher's government won the elections, sending them to victory by winning the Falklands War, which means that by declaring war on Argentina, they did manage to get more supporters and actually won the whole elections altogether. Approximately 255 men who fought in the Falklands War have committed suicide since then after having post-traumatic stress disorder and not being able to return to their normal lives. This is around the same amount of men who died during the war. Some people blame it on the lack of interest to cure post-traumatic stress, but no one knows for sure that this was the reason. Because Argentina lost the Falklands War, this caused a riot within Argentina, and so the military-run government went downhill.